everybody. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back if you're new. My name is Jess and I do post videos every single day over here on my YouTube channel. I would love to have you subscribe. You guys, today I'm having one of those days where I just feel blah. We have had a very long winter. Um, I started taking like vitamins and vitamin D yesterday. I'm going to keep that up because I just feel kind of like blah. Um, we've been cooped up. Everybody's been sick and I just have not felt great. And today I don't really feel like doing a vlog. I don't really feel like chatting and trying to be inspiring. And I definitely don't want to come on here and like bum y'all out. Um, so I thought today what we could do instead is I would do a what I ate today video. I used to make these all the time and a lot of my vlogs, I kind of include the things I'm eating, but it's been a while since I've done like a dedicated, I'm just really going to talk to you guys about what I'm eating today. Um, and I've already kind of screwed it up because I already had my first meal, but I'll just tell you all about it. And then from here on out, we'll, <laughs> we'll do it right. Um, I have like a slight headache. And so I'm trying to like push forward, get stuff done. And I literally do not feel like doing anything. I'm not putting on any makeup today. We're going like all natural, just like we're trying to survive the day. So if you don't know, I am on Optavia. I've been on it since October. As I'm filming this, it's February 22nd, so it's been a little over four months. I've lost almost 50 pounds, y'all. I am just shocked about how well it's gone, honestly, because I've tried to lose weight my whole entire life, and it's never really worked out like this. And so I am very thankful, and I am feeling so much better physically in my body, even though I'm having a day where I'm like, oh, oh I don't feel too, too peppy today. I am feeling so much better, like just the way like my joints feel and my body feels and fitting into clothes and seeing the number on the scale go down, and you know, it's just been amazing. Um, so I know a lot of people are curious, like, what does that mean? in terms of what you're eating. So I'm on the five in one active plan. So I get five fuelings a day and that comes from the company. They call them fuelings and they're things like bars, shakes, mashed potatoes, brownies, crunchies, like all different kinds of things, waffles. I, I eat all kinds of stuff. Um, oatmeal. I eat five of those a day and then I have one, what they call lean and green meal. And that's a meal I make on my own. Um, and it kind of teaches me how to make a balanced meal. It's a serving of lean protein and three servings of non-starchy veggies. It is super simple. But I thought you guys might like to see what I'm eating today. Sometimes I do shorts on this. And I'll show you guys in 60 seconds or less what I'm eating. But I thought today we would just do a normal, like what I ate today, like back in the when did I film those? 2015, 2016. I have so many what I ate today videos on Weight Watchers and counting calories and all of this, but it's been really fun to show you guys what I'm doing that's actually working to help me. I've never lost this amount of weight ever. And so this is just super exciting. Okay. Let's talk about fueling number one, the one I already ate before I decided to film this video. First of all, I had my black coffee. This is actually cup two that I didn't finish. Uh, Mom life. I had to get busy doing a editing and doing a, uh, editing a vlog and doing some computer work. So it sat there and got cold, but I had a bar with that. I had the creamy double peanut butter bar. It's like, it reminds me of like a peanut butter rice crispy. That's what it reminds me. Of. It was really good. It's one of my favorites. So that's what I had about two hours ago. Um, it's a little after 11 right now. I had it at nine. Um, so I'm about to eat my next fueling. I try to eat every two and a half to three hours all throughout the day. So that really keeps me from getting hangry and it's been working out really well. So I'm going to go find my next fueling. I need to make my active drink. So I told you guys I'm on the five in one active plan. And that means I take my active once a day and that is an amino acid supplement. And it really helps me not burn uh, muscle or, you know, it helps me burn fat and have extra energy and all of that as I'm losing weight. So I drink that once a day. So I'm about to go make that and I'm going to find a fueling to make and, um, we'll just spend this day together. I'll show you guys everything that I eat today. I have no idea what it's going to be. I don't have any, any plans for dinner. We'll just, we're going to fly by the seat of our pants. <laughs> so, and that's okay. So y'all come spend today with me and let's do an old school what I ate today vlog. Some boiling water, so that's what you hear in the background. Um, but I'm gonna make a oatmeal waffle. This to me tastes like a baked oatmeal bar or something. It is so good. So let me show you how I make it. I take my apple cinnamon. This is also really good with the maple spiced or the maple sugar, whatever it is, brown sugar one. Um, but we're going to, I'm gonna show you guys how I make it into a waffle. So I like to take 
a little sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm almost out of cinnamon. And then I do a little bit, a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna take my hot water and we're just gonna moisten this a little bit and let it sit and kind of absorb. I don't even know how much that was, like a fourth of a cup maybe. I'm gonna stir it up really good and let it sit for about 10 minutes or so while um, I get, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my little mini waffle maker. And then this just kind of makes it soft so it bakes up nice in the waffle maker. So I'm gonna get that preheated, let this sit. It will absorb a lot of this moisture and I'll see you guys back in a minute. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm ready to eat and Mark is being loud and my head is hurting. So we let this sit for a couple minutes and you don't want it super dry. You want it just kind of like that, like really thick oatmeal. And then I'm gonna get this ready to go. Don't mind it's a little bit dirty. I'm just gonna spray some cooking spray and I'm gonna put this in there and it's gonna cook for probably five minutes, like a long time, a good long time. And I want it to get like really crispy. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I pull it out. Guys, it's been a while, so the light went off, but I still let it go for another couple minutes. As I like it really crispy, like it could even go a little bit longer for me, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So I'm gonna plug it so I don't electrocute myself. But this is like my favorite way to have the oatmeal. I like it as oatmeal, but it is just so warm and delicious. Look at that as a waffle. I'm sure you could do this with regular oatmeal too, but this has so much protein. And then I also have my active. I just like to use my Panera cups when I have them. I had this from yesterday. Um, so this is what the active looks like. And it's just a scoop and a big cup of water. And this is the strawberry lemonade flavor. I also have a mango, what is it? Orange mango one that's really good too. So this is a fueling number two. If you can hear Mark, he's still coughing back there, but he's doing much better to me. Guys, it has been right at two and a half hours. I am freezing cold and still have a headache. So I'm gonna have some roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Um, what I like to do is make these a little bit thinner so it makes kind of like a potato soup kind of. So the directions say to add half a cup of water and then microwave it for a minute, stir a minute again. I like to do it a little bit different. So I will add this to the bowl. Uh, I've got some hot water heating up in my kettle. I know that's loud. Um, but all I'm going to do is put about, instead of half a cup, I'll do about two thirds of a cup of hot boiling water. Let it sit for just a couple minutes. And then I usually will zap it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, just to make sure it's nice and hot. And literally that is it. Top a little bit of extra salt and pepper. And this is really good. All right, guys, so this is my mashed potato. Like I said, it's a very thin because I like to eat it kind of like a soup. Instead of salt, I'm gonna put this everything bagel seasoning in there. It's a little bit salty. And then I like to add black pepper. Lots of it. And this is so warm and cozy. All right, you guys, I have used my tea kettle all day. Having a slight problem, it's time for fueling number four. I really wanted a hot chocolate. The hot chocolate, it's key to have one of these electric whisks. I thought the batteries were just dead, but I just put fresh batteries in and it's still not working. So I think this thing is officially dead. I need to go get a new one. Um, it's just, this one's just a cheap one from Timu or Amazon or something, but this is such a bummer. I've tried making it with just a whisk before and it just doesn't do very good. It makes it really gritty and chalky. So I got my magic bullet out and I'm going to try to blend this like a little bit with like just blend a little bit and then add it to hot water. We're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to do like half the amount of water or less. I don't want it to cool off too much. I'm just going to do a little bit of water, blend it up and then add the rest of the hot water to the cup and whisk it. We'll see how it goes. So hold tight. Guys, that actually worked out really well. It made it like really frothy, hopefully. And <laughs> this doesn't make me want to do this all the time because it like dirties a lot more stuff. But um, I'm just feeling all the cozy vibes today. David just took Lucy to piano and Mark wanted to go with them. So I'm just hanging out with Nate for about the next hour or two. So 
this counts as a condiment. A little bit of whipped cream. Like two tablespoons. And then this is zero everything and I don't even use a full, I've had the same bottle for like months and I use it like all the time. And I just put a little drizzle if I can open it with one hand. Jordan's Skinny Sauce Salted Caramel. And you just, whoa, okay, that was a lot. That came out a little fast, but anyway, that is my salted caramel hot chocolate. Thank right, you guys, sorry about the lighting in here. I'm doing something a little different tonight. I'm making nachos with bell peppers. I'm gonna stick this in the oven. I hope this turns out good. So I have mini bell peppers. These are the ones I buy from Sam's. I have a couple of servings of those on my baking pan. Topped it with half of a serving of lean ground beef, which is 2.5 ounces, and then half of a serving of light cheese, which is two ounces. This shredded cheese from Aldi, it's the light sharp cheddar, it is so good, and it's finely shredded, so it looks like a lot. It spreads out really well. This is going to be so good, and then I have lettuce to go on top, and I'm going to use some light sour cream as a condiment, and then some hot sauce, too. So... That's going to be really good. I'm going to stick this in to broil for a few minutes. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get it out of the oven. But I'm excited. Nacho night. Look at this. I cannot wait to eat this. So topped it with some shredded lettuce. A couple of tablespoons of light sour cream. Some Taco Bell hot sauce. I haven't had nachos since we started this plan. And I know this isn't like chips or whatever. But I think it's going to be all the same flavors. And it's a bunch. Like this is a lot of food. I've got my bestie watching me over here. But David's not big on peppers, so I'll probably just do him another taco salad. He really likes that. But I can't wait for this. This is the end of the night. Finishing it with, man, this is probably one, pretty much everybody's favorite. These are so good. These chocolate brownies with the Greek yogurt chips. Comes with this little tray to mix it up in, so no dishes. Um, although they just changed this, and now it's more like a cake. Uh, you make it in a like a not a cake, a uh, um, coffee cup. But I still have a bunch of these things, so we're gonna keep using them because <laughs> no dishes. Um, you just add three tablespoons of water, and then it says on here to microwave it for a minute and a half. I like it better if you do that. It's more like cakey, and I like it more like gooey, like a brownie. So I just do a minute or sometimes even like 50 seconds. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get it out. And then my other trick, sometimes I add a, lot, a little sprinkle of salt. Just makes it like sea salt brownie. It's warm and delicious brownie. Yum. You guys, sorry, I have my glasses on there. But um, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's been a really great day food-wise. And um, I really love the convenience of this plan. Even on the days where I'm not like feeling <laughs> mentally clear or whatever and just feeling kind of blah after a long week of sickness, I can lean on my fuelings, grab, go, not have to spend a lot of thought on food. And it's been working out really well for me. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Reach out to me if you want to know more information about the plan I follow. Um, I am a health coach, and so I love helping others find the same food freedom as I am. Um, and everything's working out really great, y'all. I'm down almost 50 pounds, almost 50 pounds since October 16th which has just been incredible. So I love you all so much. If you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and then definitely subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody. and hopeless when I was at my work